Yes, the acceptable daily intake is the amount of an ingredient, in this case we're talking about low calorie sweeteners, that can be consumed every day for um, over one's lifetime without having any effect, negative effect on health. The way that that is determined is from all of these toxicology studies that have been conducted. And we want to find out the highest level that we can consume, animals can consume, without having any adverse effect. That level then is reduced by a factor of 100 to establish the acceptable daily intake. So there's a couple of important points there. One is that we are basing this on the level of no effect. So we're not talking about a reduction from the level that may have an adverse effect. We're talking about a reduction of 100 from a level that we know has no effect over the lifetime of the animal. The factor of reduction of 100 is to ensure that we take into account any differences between uh, the, the animal testing and humans and of course differences from, from one human to another. This uh, is used, is important because it's used to establish the amount of the sweetener that can be added to different food groups. And the purpose of that is to ensure that based on what we know about what types of foods and drinks people consume, that there's very low likelihood that they are ever going to exceed the acceptable daily intakes. And this has been verified by many studies where we are then reviewing what is the consumption of low calorie sweeteners in many different countries around the world. And we are reassured to know that consistently consumption is well below the acceptable daily intake. So I think people don't have to really worry about that too much. Um, we, that is being well established by the, the processes in place and the amount that is allowed by the regulatory authorities.